Hi, I'm Keith Simonton, and now in the studio we have Rodrigo Garcia and Ewan McGregor for Last Days in the Desert. Ewan, could you explain what this film is about? <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> it's a film about uh, Jesus when he's um, in the desert for 40 days and 40 nights before he uh, comes back to Jerusalem to, is he back to Jerusalem or Galilee or where is he? Yeah, to Galilee. Galilee. Yes, to his ministry. To his ministry to become a, to, to start to preach. And uh, it's a story that's set in that time where he comes across uh, a family who live in the desert. And um, it's a story about that. That's really good, isn't it? What a great pitch. No, it's good. Why don't it's you do good. it? Now it's ask good. the same question no, to our no, director no, it's very good. and writer. Yes, he meets a family and gets entangled, shall we say, <laughs> in their problems. Yes. Uh, and you play multiple roles, as I understand. I do. I play uh, Jesus and I play uh, the devil at the same time, or, or the demon, or Lucifer, or we had many different names for him. When people walk away from this film, what do you want them to think or feel? You know, in my, in my best hope, that they'll see something about, um, uh, you know, fathers and sons and, uh, and that type of relationship and the complications of it and, uh, you know, how sons, you know, grow out from under their fathers. And, you know, that, I think that's probably our main theme. Yes. IMDb question. First movie that you saw in a movie theater, non-animated. The first movie that I remember being, I, I remember being picked up outside of our school by my mom and dad with my brother in our uniform, our shorts and our red socks, to go to the, lo the biggest city near us to watch the first Star Wars movie because my Uncle Dennis was in it. And we were, I was five, six, and my brother was seven or eight. And we drove through and watched a film that my uncle was in, and then it was Star Wars as well. So that was a big moment. And then the, the, one of the films that impressed me upon me the most was Death on the Nile, which I went to see in the afternoon in our local cinema, which is a small cinema in the town of Crief where I'm from. And they had a, like matinees in the afternoon on Saturday afternoons for, so, you know, generally they were more aimed at children, but this was Death on the Nile. And I fell very deeply in love with the actress who was playing the, I don't remember her name. She gets shot. And um, I was absolutely, but properly quite devastated by this. <laughs> and went home, was really upset for quite days. And I remember telling my parents that I'd seen her shot through the head and, I felt like I shouldn't have seen that. I'm too young to have seen that. I was upset. And I've seen it recently, and it looks like someone burnt a cork and went like that. <laughs> She's got a small black smudge here, and that's it. But in my, in my state of love for her, I thought I was very harrowed by it. So those are my three films. It's a sensitive man. You, your, uncle, <laughs> your uncle played Wedge. Uh, Wedge Antilles, yeah. Wedge Antilles. All right, guys. Enjoy the rest of your Sundance. Thank and you. Best of luck with Last Days of the Desert. I can't wait to see it myself. So. Thank you. Thank very you much. very much.